Hey, welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes and today is another uh, video for iPhone or iPad uh, and iPod Touch. All three of the same settings uh, on the um, screen brightness. Now, when you first uh, get your iPhone or um, iPad, the first thing you'll notice is that the screen brightness varies depending if you're on the uh, daylight in the night. And I've noticed that, for example, the automatic setting for day and night is kind of uh, not cool. I don't find it cool because I find that the night setting is way, way too low. So I prefer having generally the same uh, screen brightness all the time. But um, one of the advantage of having automatic settings in the screen brightness is that one of the most demanding um, power hungry feature of your iPhone and iPad is the screen brightness. Is the light that will um, you know light up the screen. So um, you might want to lower or change that setting because uh, you don't want it to be as bright all the time. And of course, the lower that setting, the more battery you'll have on your iPhone. So uh, it's kind of a very important setting. So if you want to change those settings, you can go into your settings uh, tab, and you'll see that at if you go at the bottom, there's brightness and wallpaper. Just go on brightness and wallpaper. Now you have two settings. You can click the on for auto brightness. What that will do is that your phone detects through its camera um, the luminosity around you. And um, if there's a lot of light, it will brighten your screen. If there ain't a lot of light, it's gonna lower the screen brightness. So uh, you can leave it at auto brightness. Some people like it. I personally find that when you're in a dark uh, environment, it really, really lowers too much that screen brightness. So I actually turn it off. Another feature you might want is to put the screen brightness manually to a setting. And um, I'll show you here through the camera. If you look at my iPhone, if I play with that setting, how the brightness changes. So, um, you put it where you feel comfortable. Um, like I said, having screen brightness uh, to the maximum, for example, all the time will really, really use up your battery. So, uh, there's a setting. I personally put it around 50%. <clears throat> this is kind of the setting that I like for my iPhone. Uh, but like I said, you can put auto brightness. It's going to be really bright when you're in the daylight and become um, really dim if you're in a uh, environment where it's really dark. And um, play with that setting because uh, some, you know, depending on what use you have for your uh, iPhone, you might want to have it more or less bright and um, some people that have more of a, I would say, probably uh, visual problems, um, if you have problems with your eyes or if you have problems, uh, you know, really looking at uh, your phone correctly when it's dim, you might want to put the brightness a little higher. That's one of my problems. Uh, when it's really dim, I kind of have difficulty in really, really seeing what I'm watching on the screen. So, uh, be, uh, aware that it's there to uh, you know change and if you don't like auto brightness like I don't like it just turn it off but uh, of course be, be advised that the higher you put the brightness of your screen the, um, the the less you'll have battery life on your iPhone and iPad so it's very important to know that so I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little video and um, if you uh, have any comments or questions let us know and hope you come back to the easy computer fixes. Bye-bye.